so as you guys can tell I'm not at home Jordan and I are going to be house sitting and dog sitting for the next couple of weeks so I'm currently at like my mother-in-law's home just sort of watching over the place she currently lives in Nevada so as you guys can imagine it's like 112 degrees today not the most pleasant but I figured while I'm here house sitting I would bring a ton of projects that I wanted to work on over the next two and a half weeks so I've packed up some of this loops and thread wool like yarn it is a number one fingering weight yarn so I have to figure out what to do with this I'm kind of thinking of making like a one shoulder top or a shruggy maybe something mesh looking not too sure but I brought this along with that I did bring some more of that really gorgeous sari silk ribbon yarn and because I only have this one skein I actually went to Joann's a few days ago before I left on this trip to pick up some of their new lines that have recently launched. So this is the Big Twist Reverb yarn. This is 100% premium acrylic and I thought that this colorway was so, so stunning. I also picked up this other shade from their Reverb line and this has a lot more of like that lavender, hot pink, peachy type of colorway. So maybe these two will look a lot more spectacular together. I ordered some of this Taki yarns. This is their tandem line. And this stuff is so, so gorgeous. It's like metallic-y, but also matte looking type of fiber. So, so stunning. I have no idea what I plan on crocheting or knitting with this. As you guys all know, recently I am trying to do a little bit more of like conscious crochet i really want to take my time enjoy what i'm crafting and not just like rush through my projects just for the sake of getting them done and like posting them on social media but because i've had this yarn sitting in my collection for so long i think i'm going to start working with the loops and thread wool like yarn like i said it's super super fine so this is what i'm working with but i got my glasses on so it can help me see some very tiny stitches It's way too hot to be sitting outside and crocheting. I tried it for about 30 minutes and I just started sweating profusely. So we've shifted back inside, but I'm really excited. I finally added on some like tie straps to these sleeves. So originally I was thinking I only wanted like a one shoulder type of top, but then you know what? I figured I had time and so much of this yarn that I went ahead and made a second like asymmetrical sleeve. But this is gonna be like really unique and fun just because with these tie straps, I could either wear it like one shouldered like this and like tie it up on my body. Or if I wanted to, I could throw on the second sleeve and actually like tie the sleeves together in the front and in the back so it's kind of like a little bolero type of moment but I am rocking with this more like distressed style look and now at this point I do want to make some type of like 
front piece or like top piece just to make it more of like a completed outfit i'm really going to take my time with this as well and try to do some like free hand moments again i'm really not trying to follow any specific rules i just want to follow wherever the crochet hook takes me morning everybody it's like 10 o'clock in the morning and i've been up since seven o'clock i've just been editing a video working on a thumbnail but it just occurred to me that i actually left my yarn winder at home so i have to make a stop at michael's and check out some new supplies because i do need to wind some hanks of yarn in order to work on some tutorials that i have planned for you guys we're in a new state we're at a new michael's i want to see if they have any other types of yarn that i've never seen before so yeah, we're yarn shopping at 10 o'clock in the morning. Not what I expected to be doing, but I'm just going to go check out and see what they have. And hopefully I can recommend some new stuff to you guys. Let's see what they have in store for us. So freaking early. It's a fan. What was that? The fan. Oh, you take a picture. Oh, no, video. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> some yarn today. Oh my gosh. This is stunning. I look so bad right now. Please just disregard how I look. I'm having so much fun at this new Michaels just because they do have different lines of yarn that I haven't seen yet at home. So I just came across this Karen Ripple Cotton Cakes. I haven't seen this one before, but it does have like a slight waviness or like crinkle to the actual fiber itself. But I believe that this is 100% cotton and it feels so, so good for being cotton. And just like this colorway would make a super gorgeous tank top. Ooh, they also have this really cute like summery colorway. Again, this is the Cotton Ripple Yarn by Karen Cakes. Even this one. Oh my gosh. These are so stunning. And again, these are 100% cotton. And you guys know me with cotton, it's really picky for me. Like I have to pick out a cotton that is very, very buttery. And I'm surprised how nice this feels. I've also mentioned this before on my channel, but they have the Karen Latte Cakes. And this kind of has more of like a faux or like an eyelash type of texture, like an eyelash yarn. It's very, very fuzzy. It kind of feels like a brushed yarn. Nothing beats yarn shopping at 10 o'clock in the morning. They literally just opened, but I'm out here. I'm having fun. I can't wait to see what else they have. I am already thinking I'm going to have to pick up some yarn that I just saw, but it's oh my gosh hello okay loops and thread loops and threads is going off right now look at this colorway i need to set you guys down this is stunning okay i actually just stumbled across this loops and thread facets yarn now at first glance this really reminds me of the I forgot what it's called i'm gonna link it here i actually had some of this yarn before and i gave it away because i wasn't a huge fan of the colorway but this looks just like it this is a really really stunning type of yarn as well i want to say that this is like wool and no it's 100 acrylic but it is like a roving style yarn 
kind of self-striping, very like ombre-ish, but they have so much super gorgeous colors. And this feels really, really nice. Again, for acrylic, very buttery soft. So, so stunning. A lot of these kind of remind me of like summer colors, but this is definitely a little bit more like a fall winter vibe right here. So I need to pick up this yarn winder. It has a different style than the one that I'm used to. I'm just a little bit bummed because this is $32. And I have one at home, but I need this. I just realized that I haven't really given you guys a whip update in a few days. I've actually been working on filming this tutorial off camera for you guys and it's so stinking cute. So as you guys can see, I only have a few more rows left with these shorts before this entire project is finished up. So I figured I would sit down here, do a little bit of Q&A and talk to you guys, but I'm really impressed with how this is working up. It was kind of just a vision in my head and it's coming together so, so well. In case you guys couldn't tell, these are gonna be like a new pair of flowy lounge shorts. I'm so impressed with how these are turning out, especially because I decided to use my own hand dyed yarn. I decided to dye this creme brulee Again, this is available on my website, but I'm using some fingering weight yarn. So this is like a number one, super, super lightweight yarn. But because this is like a fingering weight, it's allowing for such a gorgeous like drape and like flow. Can you guys see this? And thankfully, because I'm working with such like tiny yarn, I have been using these new glasses that were gifted to me by Hip Optical and they look so good on. I have such a hard time finding like the right frame glasses that look good on my face shape. And I really took like a leap of faith with these and I think they look really, really good on. All I had to do is send them a screenshot of my reading prescription and I got these in the mail literally two days later. It was so quick. And on top of that, they also have a bunch of other add-ons that you can add besides your prescription. So if you guys just wanted sunglasses, they have those. I also got to add on a blue blue light filter because you guys know I'm always editing, watching TV and whatnot. All of their frames are actually made with plant-based material. So they're a little bit eco-conscious, a little eco-friendly. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link here on screen for you guys, but I do have a lovely coupon code for you guys. If you guys want to get a pair of sunglasses or even prescription glasses, they will get you $15 off your order. And likewise, if you guys want to order two or more glasses, you do get $30 off. So feel free to use my little affiliate code. I'm genuinely impressed with these glasses, but I thought it'd be really fun to kind of sit down here and while I'm finishing up these shorts, do a little bit of a Q&A. I went over on Instagram a few days ago and had like a little question air and you guys sent in a bunch of questions that you guys wanted me to touch on and answer for you guys. So let's go ahead and pull up my phone and answer some of your pressing questions. I actually got this question asked a few times, but they said, what is your favorite thing about being a crochet designer? Honestly, there's a lot of different aspects and I've kind of touched on this before, but my favorite thing about being a crochet designer or crochet artist is that I can make my entire wardrobe, whatever style that I'm looking for, I can try to make it whatever look, fit, drape, like I said, I can physically make whatever I'm looking for. Like last year when Jordan and I went to Tulum, I was actually on the hunt to find a really neutral colored pair of like flowy shorts because I knew we we're gonna be going to the beach a lot, walking around town a lot. And I literally wanted exactly this and I could not find it anywhere in stores. So this just goes to show you, I can physically make the wardrobe that I'm looking for. Another question that I got asked a ton is, what is my most favorite or most worn project so far this year? I have a couple things off the top of my head, but first and foremost is my crochet bralette top that I just made about a month ago. I have been wearing that top non-stop for the last month. I wanna say I've worn it probably four times a week each week. I should honestly probably throw it in the washer because I have not washed it by hand yet and I know that thing is probably 
full of sweat, but I've gotten so much use out of that thing, especially right now because it's summertime. It's super lightweight, super breathable. It's made out of cotton and acrylic, and I do have a tutorial for that up on my channel right now. So if you guys wanna go check that out, you can make yourself a really quick bralette. Yeah, okay, this question was literally asked like five times. They said, what job would you like to work in if you weren't a crochet designer? Did you learn another job before starting your YouTube channel? So this is actually like a super long story, so I'll try to sum it up for you guys. But I actually went to school, I went to UC Santa Barbara, and I got my degree in Bachelors of Environmental Studies. Shortly after I graduated, I actually had a really difficult time finding a job and I couldn't really find anything that I was truly, truly passionate about. So I spent about two years working as an EMT here in California and that did not pan out for me. That is definitely not the route that I wanted to go and I quickly discovered that I was not passionate about the medical field at all, which is why I started my YouTube channel because as you guys know, I have been crocheting on and off for about the last 18 years and I'm so glad that I found this job and decided to turn it into my career. Like, I honestly don't know what job I would be working if I wasn't doing crochet, but right off the bat, I'd probably have to say that I would have any type of job that had to do with animals. So I probably would have pursued something just being hands-on, maybe like at a sanctuary or maybe even like marine biology, in case y'all didn't know, sea otters are like my favorite animal of all time. So this next question I've never been asked before, but I really enjoyed it. They said, have you considered making a crochet or knitting book? I actually have, last Christmas, Jordan's mom actually gave me a crochet book that she picked up. It was like a modern crochet tutorial booklet. It's very simple and bare bones right to the point. So all the patterns are very, very simple and easy to follow. And honestly, that really sparked something in me to want to make my own crochet booklet in the future. So if any of you guys out there know how to go about doing that, if y'all know how to help me, feel free to reach out and let me know how to even get started on that. I don't... Hey guys, it's been a minute since I updated you on my next whip. I actually got started on it this morning, but I had a bunch of things to do and I was way too tired to talk. So I'll give you guys the quick little rundown now. Like I showed you guys earlier, I was using the Big Twist Reverb yarn. I see you, hi. <gasps> okay, come here. He wants to hang out with me while I'm filming. But like I was talking about, I only have one skein of this Reverb yarn by Big Twist and I really do enjoy it. Self-striping kind of yarn. As you guys can see, it works up really, really beautifully with these like big old chunks of black kind of mixed into there. But what I wanted to do was make more of like a asymmetrical style Fit. So it does kind of slope and slant to one side. And now that I have the basis of the skirt done, I am going around the entire border with my leftover ribbon yarn. So I'm hoping to save the rest of this to make a cute like little balconette matching bra. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I just got my nails done. This is the first time getting acrylics in like three or four years. And I'm obsessed, I love it. I'm in a new era, I'm feeling myself. But at the same time, it is a little bit more difficult to crochet with acrylics. So I'm gonna have to like adjust over these next few days and kind of find my new flow, my new rhythm. But 
Hello, your girl just got her nails done. I'm obsessed. I freaking love it. And I did head over to Joanne's earlier today to get some like cute chain metal accessories because I wanna kind of leave an open side hip like I did with my previous set. So hopefully I can kind of add some chains here on one edge of the skirt. But I'll tap back in with you guys in the morning and show you guys the progress so far on this next little whip of mine. <laughs> 